here's what we need to do this install. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You're gonna need a T30 Torx bit of some kind, a 10 millimeter socket, a trim removal tool. I'm showing some silicone spray that I use to help insert the aluminum spacers through the plastic and some sort of drill with a half inch bit. The manual calls for 13 millimeter, which is half inch, so um, half inch is perfect. Okay, so it's time to get the new Mopar tailgate table installed. I ran a tailgate table on my other JK and it, it's been invaluable on the trail. So I knew I wanted one on this Jeep and in a little bit I'll explain why I chose the Mopar. But for right now, let's jump into the install so I can show you that. All right, let's get started on the install of this new Mopar tailgate cover. First of all, we've got to get this trim panel out of the way. Now, I always cover, I use a metal um, <clears throat> trim remover tool, so I put a little uh, painter's tape on there just so I don't scratch the paint, but essentially, what we need to do is just get between that and the tailgate door and it pops right off. So as you can see, a lot of clips holding on, but it comes off pretty easy. So now we're ready to drill our holes, and get ready to mount this. Okay, so I've got the tailgate trim panel off the Jeep and set up on my work table. We're ready to drill the holes that we'll use to mount the new table to the Jeep. So you're looking for four, and Jeep has laid this out really well. We've got one here, here, and then look for a little dimple here and another one here. So they've given us good guides. This is a half inch drill bit. We're gonna put through there now and get this right amount on the Jeep. All right, be sure you use some wood backing or something that'll uh, let your drill bit ease into so you don't damage anything. But let's get these four holes drilled now. Okay, as you can see, that was pretty easy. Let's turn that over. Here we are right side up, but those are our four. We're ready to go mount this on the Jeep now. Let's get on that. Right. So I took this trim panel off just to kind of show you guys what's behind here. So these are the three mounting plates that are molded into the tailgate. Um, by Jeep. So I'm drilled out ready to go. I'm going to be using two of these only because I'm not using the uh, trail ready system. So anyways, if you're trail ready, you've got that aluminum insert in there or for holding things, then you would use three. But in this case, we're only going to use two. Let's get that back installed and we'll get these bushings in. All right, guys, these aluminum spacers can be a little bit, uh, tight going in there because this is a molded cylinder inside. So you got a little bit of friction on there. So I hit mine with a little bit of silicone just to see if I could free that up. And that went pretty well. Okay, so those are good. The longest one is gonna go down into this corner here. And we got one of the short ones over here. And that's it. Spaces are in. We're ready to mount the uh, tailgate tray table next. So what I like about this also is, you know what, they're using uh, those aluminum spacers, but uh, stainless steel hardware, which I love. So we're gonna lock washer on that. Get these spun in. And I will say the tailgates are painted, so you're gonna get a little resistance out of these screws when we're putting them on, but 
No big deal. And our last one. All right, let's snug them down. And you can see that's installed. That was pretty simple. And like I said, rack's got a steel frame. The table, I believe, is made out of aluminum. But the best feature of this is that we are not going to do any drilling into metal on the back door, on the back, uh, you know, cargo door. Um, we're going to use factory mounts, so we're not going to be worried about um, creating a spot that rusts. All we had to do was drill through this, uh, this plastic trim, which they gave us marker holes for. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, and I like the thought that went into this. So, all right, we're all snug down. Now we can actually put the table on. Okay. Now we've got the frame mount securely on the Jeep. Let's mount the table to the frame. I think this would be pretty easy if we do it. Let's try this. Let's hang it on these. So I've got one bolt in already. Nylon washer. Let's put the other screw in. Get that made it up. Not too bad. Finish looks pretty good on this piece. Happy about that. All right, now, so I'm gonna snug these down against these nylon washers, you guys, and see if I can put get it just tight enough so that it provides a little bit of friction so this thing doesn't just fall hard against these stays and I think that maybe we can give it a little dampening action let's see See how we did. Yeah, see, that's gonna wear in there real nice so that it just doesn't fall hard against these. So, now it's looking like we're getting near the end. Boom, there she is. Okay, so I think if you were just doing it without, you know, making a production out of it, uh, this is probably gonna take you maybe 20 minutes, half hour if you really take your time drilling things out, but this is a super simple install, you guys. And like I said, um, it's rated at 25 pounds. We've got a couple drink holders here. I'll shoot you some details. Uh, you know, another nice Easter egg, right? But most importantly, I like the way this one mounts. This is gonna give me a good surface to uh, place cameras on, um, do lunch. All right, there it is, fully installed. Mopar tailgate table. Time for a cool drink. Hey, I think this is going to work out really well. I'm going to get my Molly bags loaded up on it. We'll give you guys some pictures of that. Um, next step will be get out on the trail and see if I can spot any rattles. But you know what? The way it's designed um, and the way it anchors, and it, it uh, they've got rubber stops here that when we use these clasp it draws up nice and tight so i don't think it's going to make a sound um real happy with this so far let's get our molly bags on it and get our tools back here get that transferred over from the old jk and uh 
we're going to be ready to hit the trails. Thanks for tuning in. Shortly after getting the rack installed, I knew I wanted to make some changes. So I sourced a good looking piece of 3 quarter by 12 by 3 poplar. Next came a cutting board from a home goods store. Next it was time to lay out, cut, and begin forming the table surface. My decision to put a solid surface on this tailgate table came out of the desire to make it easier to place camera gear on this as well as have a workstation for food prep. Now, let's take a look at the fabrication steps. There was a lot of trial and error in creating this and getting it all to fit perfectly. Here you can see the inlaid cutting table going together. After getting the surface created and liking the way everything fit, I decided to stain it with a bright red. Red will be the accent color I'm using on this build. And here you can see it all put together. I'm super happy with the way this turned out. The new solid surface gives me a nice area to work from, as well as a great food prep area. And now, here it is, all finished up. You can see I attached my molly bag and my tools to it. I love the way this turned out. Thanks for tuning in to Expedition Builds. Please be sure and subscribe. We'd love to have you following along. Until next time, stay safe and we'll see you on the trails.